All right, we're going to break down some quantum physics 101. Yes. I'm First off, what is quantum physics? All right, so traditional physics was um, this world that this is a thing and this is a thing and they're right. separate. Yep. Like this is physics, mm -hmm. right? School, yes. Boring. <laughs> quantum cool. physics is a relatively new thing. Early 1900s mm -hmm. was discovered. And it scared all the scientists because they couldn't understand it. They're running these experiments that they, it's like mystical. They're right. literally watching stuff happen that they're like, we do not know how to explain this. Right. So this was the birth of quantum physics and it all came from one initial test where they took a photon, which is a, you know, atomic particle, and they saw how it acted. Now everything is made up of atoms, mm -hmm. everything. And they did this test called the double slit test. Now let's see um, how I could describe this very easily. Let's say you have a wall and it has two doors, mm -hmm. right? The doors are both open and I were to throw this skateboard at the wall. Mini skateboard, Charlie is not 40 <laughs> feet tall. I throw this mini skateboard at a wall that has two <laughs> doors. You would expect it to either go through one door or the other door. Yep. Like if I were to throw it at that door, it goes through that door. Or I throw it at that door, it goes through that door. Right. Now what would happen if I threw this at the wall and it goes through both doors at the same time? But it's one skateboard. I would pass out. You'd be like, what magic trick Houdini thing, like what, what's going on here? Like David Copperfield, like where's the mirror? Magician Charlie. 100%. So this is exactly what the traditional physics said. How could this skateboard be in two different places at the same time? Yes. It's a physical object. Well, they found out that the atomic particles are not pieces of matter alone. Now, let me ask you a question. Say you were to have a sound wave, mm -hmm. like a song, okay. playing on a radio. With that song, you send it out into the room and say you were able to see the wave. Would that wave go through both doors? Yes, it would. Ah, oh, guess what atomic particles are? Mm, very nice. Waves, not pieces of matter. So if something is a wave, it can be in two places at the same time. We expect waves to be in two places at the same time. It's like way over podcast. there. Like this podcast. Exactly. This podcast is secretly flying through the air. Like, check this in out. In outer space. In outer Everywhere. space. But you can't hear it when it's flying through the air, but once it's picked up by a receiver, a computer, all of a sudden we can hear it. Let's break it all the way down to like um, songs. Right. How many songs are flying past your face right now? Every single song ever. Just through the radio waves, right? Yes. They're just flying through the air. But if you take a little box and you tune to a frequency. I just caught a 2 chain song. Out just of the now. air. I just caught it. Out of the I air. I caught it. What song did I catch? Uh, I'm different. Okay. So that's the thing with, if I were to say uh, 200 years ago that a song or your voice can fly through the air and this little box can play it and not miss a note, yeah. you would hang me for witchcraft in the middle of the, the square and say that's a witch. Like how does something fly through the air? But when, when, when in quantum physics, if everything is a wave, then that means I'm collided with everything. Okay. I'm already connected to everything I want. Okay. Take a pond, drop three rocks in it that are separate. Mm -hmm. are, are the rocks touching? No. Do the waves that come off the rocks touch? Yes. So I believed that I was already connected to Nike, but I had to tune myself to the frequency to be able to receive Nike. Okay, you say you're on 99.3, and it goes, but my favorite station is 99.5. Okay. So if you want to receive the song, you got to tune to the frequency. Yep. Once you tune to it, then you can receive it. So I had to tune. So you're, you're talking about tuning to the frequencies of, of what whatever want. you want. Got it. Because everything is a wave. That means everything is a frequency. Just like the cell phone flying through the air, the only way your phone can receive it is to tune to I it. I haven't stood it. I haven't understood it as clearly as you just put it until just now. I appreciate that. But I, I've heard a lot of people try to explain it, which is interesting. 
you tune to the frequency and you're able to receive it. How did I tune to the Nike frequency? First, you have to be it. To tune to it, you have to be it. What does you that mean? Take the radio. You want to be on 99.5? You better tune it to 99.5. If yeah. I want to be Nike, I got to be it. I got to tune to it. So I made a fan-made Nike commercial. <laughs> 